Howdy, I'm Professor Curtis of Aspire Mountain Academy, here with more statistics homework help. Today, we're going to learn how to distinguish an observational study from an experiment. Here's our problem statement. Determine whether the description corresponds to an observational study or an experiment. Research is conducted to determine if there is a relation between Parkinson's disease and childhood head trauma. Does the description correspond to an observational study or an experiment? Okay. The key difference between an observational study and an experiment is that an observational study is just what the name says. You're just looking at what's there. You're just observing. You're not actually... Um, you're not inserting anything, any sort of change into the, the variables that you're looking at. An experiment, on the other hand, requires a treatment. There's something that you're doing so that you can observe a change in what you're observing. Here, the problem statement says that research is being conducted. And a lot of people, when they think about research, they think about, the, especially when you're dealing with medical things, they associate that with experiments because they're thinking about some sort of drug testing or we're testing out some sort of procedure to treat the disease. But in reality here, look at what's actually being said in the statement. There's nothing in here that says anything about a treatment. It just says research is conducted. Well, for all we know, that could mean all we're doing is simply collecting data from people who have Parkinson's disease and seeing which of them had childhood head trauma, and then we're taking that data and running a statistical analysis to see if there's a correlation between those two variables. That is actually research that could be being conducted. So we don't know what's going on here, and there's no indication that there's a treatment uh, going on here. So this doesn't qualify as an experiment. This qualifies as an observational study because, again, there's no treatment here. We're just taking uh, people who have Parkinson's disease, seeing if they had childhood head trauma. We're just looking to see what's there. We're not actually inserting any sort of treatment to observe any sort of change. Excellent! And that's how we do it at Aspire Mountain Academy. Be sure to leave your comments below and let us know how good a job we did or how we can improve. And if your stats teacher is boring or just doesn't want to help you learn stats, go to AspireMountainAcademy.com where you can learn more about accessing our lecture videos or provide feedback on what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.